When all our problems started was uh, in January 9th of 2012 when Encana came in and across the road from us went in and put what is, uh, if you are familiar with oil and gas, we call it a five pack. They did a five well pad across the road from our farm. Um, we experienced our house vibrating at night when they were drilling the wells and the noise and traffic and everything that I'm sure a lot of people hear about. Um, but then when the well came online and they started flaring 24 seven, this is when we started experiencing some adverse health effects. Um, we all had like headaches, sore throats. On numerous occasions, we could taste a metallic taste in the air. Uh, I complained continuously with the state. They'd come out and inspect and uh, the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment's inspector came out one day and said, I don't smell anything, but um, some of the other adverse effects were when they first started their tremendous amount of flaring was my son had some uncontrollable nosebleeds that would last two to three hours on several occasions for about a month, month and a half. Um, finally, one night I heard this well out here to uh, the southwest of us here. Uh, I heard it hissing and I called the state and I also called in can of oil and gas and and their PR person, Wendy Weidenbeck, told me, don't call us if you smell gas around your house, our gas doesn't stink. But the state came out and inspected the next day and they found this well out of compliance. And it was freely flowing um, condensate and other volatile organic compounds into the air. And that was where we were getting that metallic taste on the back of our throats and the sore throats and, and that. The state made them shut it in and they had to change out their condensate burner and size it correctly, which they failed to do in the first place. And uh, the wellhead was leaking and there were some other problems with this well. The problem is, is there's probably thousands of wells in Colorado just like this that are out of compliance because our state only has very few inspectors to be able to take care of the 50,000 plus oil and gas wells that are active in the state of Colorado.